BGD or pre-implantation genetic diagnosis is the ability to analyse a cell from an embryo to see whether there are any abnormalities. There are two major applications for this technology. The first is where there's a uh, genetic abnormality within the family. And that abnormality will often result in a child being very adversely affected. So if we can actually create embryos and we can actually take a single cell out of the embryo, we can then see whether that cell has the genetic abnormality or not. If it does have the genetic abnormality, then obviously we would not use that embryo as part of the treatment procedure. If we found that the embryo was normal or did not carry the genetic abnormality, then that embryo can be replaced and therefore result in a uh, pregnancy or a child being born where that familial condition does not occur and obviously that's great news for the parents. The second type of area is for, for patients who had lots of IVF treatment or recurrent miscarriages. After we've made a, a number of embryos we can take a single cell out of those embryos and we can analyse the chromosomes within the embryos. Each cell in our body has 23 pairs of chromosomes and if we have abnormal numbers or copies of those chromosomes, then the cell will not survive. It's estimated that about 70% of embryos that we develop have some sort of chromosomal muddling or errors. So we take a single cell out of the embryo and if it has the correct number of uh, chromosomes, then we can replace that embryo with a much greater chance that implantation will occur and a much greater chance that a miscarriage will not occur. And obviously this is in the best interest of the patient because they conceive more quickly uh, and they have less miscarriages on the program. The advice I'd give a family considering PGD would really depend very much on why they're, they're needing to, to use PGD. Uh, if it was for a single gene disorder such as cystic fibrosis, we'd need to discuss the uh, pros and cons of doing the, the PGD versus other options that are available to the family. So we're finding a lot of families are interested in PGD because they don't have to then go through testing when they're pregnant and make a difficult choice when they're pregnant. And for me as a geneticist, it's, it's important to understand where the families are coming from. PGD technology has come a long way and will continue to advance at quite a rapid rate. Virtus Health PGD are leaders in this field because of our research and our clinical application and we will continue to make decisions that give our patients the best possible outcome and give them the best chance of a healthy baby.